analog to digital. Take me to your leaderboard. We come in pieces. Give it to me like... you're updating your goggles, the um, the Walk Snail VRX, and you're getting this really fast beeping, apparently that's normal. So just let it do that. Whenever you doing the reset and you're holding down this little button inside here for eight seconds, the screen should go black. In my case, it just flashed black and then went to a blue screen and then started doing this really fast beeping. So I'm just gonna let it play out for 10 minutes. Uh. See if it stops itself. 20 minutes later resets this is the same situation i had last time i tried to update it, the vrx so we'll see if this works 12 o'clock midnight so i can confirm that fast beeping is normal <laughs> isn't that cute but it's wrong it did boot back up and as you can see in there we did it it did start back up because we got our osd from the vrx at the bottom. Soon after. So this is where you're going to get your, the correct firmware version under firmware right here where it says Avatar 29.33.16. Currently that's the latest version that they have for the VRX. And right here where it says SE, that's the one we need. Once you have put the correct SE GND file on, you should get a beep like this when you hold it down for eight seconds and do your update. Go into your settings. I'm gonna go over to the settings. Device. Device info. And that's how you know if the update was successful on the firmware. After the beeping has stopped and your system has rebooted back up and restarted and you have your standby screen, which we do, next step is you go into the goggle settings menu and then you select reset. And that's an important step. So we're gonna do that really quick and then we'll be right back. So you go into the settings menu and then from there you go to your device. You go reset all. They don't specify that, but that's what you do. You should get a screen like this. Please make sure that the external monitor supports the resolution and frame rate that these do, is what it's saying. It's just giving you some warnings and key tips, pointing out the features and buttons and everything to get you familiar with the system. It says, please press confirm or the back button to enter the main interface after completion. Your enter button is the toggle switch, just pressing it or you can hit the back button. We're gonna do that just because we know that's for sure. Transmitter disconnected, fine, fine, fine. All right, Let's see what our next steps are. Next, right here, for the, uh, that's on our quad. Ensure that we use a fully charged battery to power the avatar kit during the update so that it doesn't die and break the system. Okay, that's kind of a given. If you've been following this stuff, it is. We gotta download the avatar sky. We've already done that. You, you just download this right here click on it you'll have to unzip the file and then you just move that file from wherever it's at on your computer to VTX then you have to add power to the VTX so we're plugged in here and we're gonna power on our quad it should pop up somewhere on the computer yep there we go and we are safe to unpower the quad and unplug now for the actual updating process Plug it in, it has to have power. However you can get to your button on it, you should be getting a blinking green light. So from there, you go ahead, our button's down here, it's kind of hard to see, there it is. Hold it for eight seconds. The light will turn off, indicating the start of the updating process, which it has. During the update, the light will blink red. It's not actually flashing, it's solid red right now. That's just the camera sensor can't pick that up. When the update is complete, the LED will blink green. So mine didn't blink green and I just have <laughs> solid red. They say this should not take 10 minutes, this should only take about 10 seconds. I gave it about one minute, it's still solid red. So I'm gonna press and hold the button again actually before I unplug it, because I don't wanna brick it. So I, I didn't get it to do anything whenever I pressed it again for eight seconds, so I just unplugged it. Um, and now we are flashing green. Green. Um, <laughs> Tell you where it says upgrade. 
You need the Avatar SE GND. Blah 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 blah. blah. Just gotta make sure it's the SE for the VRX. That's the difference. Ah! Oh.